Hello guys, welcome to our channel. This video took me about 300 hours to make it, so don't use it to make any profit. This video is divided into parts, so let's get started with the gun parts names. Well, we're only gonna name the important parts. First, you need to pull the loading gate down, then you spin the cylinder manually to load the bullets. Here it is in slow motion to see what's happening. So when you want to empty the gun, you need to pull the loading gate down and start pushing the bullets one by one. And by the way, you need to do all of this manually. When the trigger is pulled, it'll rise up, which pushes the hammer backwards. In a closer look, as you can see, the double action paw slides on the trigger until it falls that leads to releasing the hammer to hit the bullet. By the way, the double action paw moves only in one direction that allows the trigger to get back to its normal position. At the same time like we saw in the previous part, the trigger pushes up the drop safety block along with it. when it's pulled to fill the gap between the breech face and the bullet. Now you're probably wondering what makes the trigger get back to its place. So when you move your finger away from the trigger, the main spring expands. The cylinder spins each time you pull the trigger because of the hand. And if you've noticed too, it's moving forward as you can see in the other camera to prevent the shooter or person standing next to him from being injured by the shockwaves. You've probably seen this action in a lot of cowboy movies, where you pull the hammer quickly and then shoot. Well, when you pull the hammer, it pulls the trigger with it until it gets stuck, as you can see. At this point, all you have to do is pull the trigger slightly and you should have fired quickly.
Hi guys, the next video will be about how an RPG 7 works, stay tuned. In the end, tell me in the comment what do you want to see in the next videos, anything you're wondering about. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to see more.